Hello, my name is Manik Gupta and my branch is Electronics and Computer Engineering. Greetings everyone, my name is Bhameet and I'm currently pursuing Electronics and Communication Engineering at Thapar University. My role number is 10200-6024. Hello, my name is Varshit Kanchipogo and my branch is Electronics and Communication Engineering. Greetings everyone, myself Kaltik. I'm currently pursuing electronics and communication engineering. My role number is 10200-6020. Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek Rana. I am from electronics and communication branch and my role number is 10200-6018. Hello everyone. So I'm now going to explain the code part of the GPR, Metal Detection Project. So in the screen as we can see, here is a CSV file which is representing the row. Uh, row values and it we have created a matrix of 10 by 10 from VSW bench bench guide we have calculated a VSW values and then from the formula then we have calculated the row after calculating the row we have created a 10 by 10 matrix for simplicity of the project so we will be taking these as a reference data set now we proceed to the code part as we can see first two lines we have just imp uploaded the files from the which we have just recently seen row matrix csv file next few lines of the code now proceeding are import files that are these are the library files which are needed to run the python program and next we are just uploading the csvw file csv file to the data frame of the python and then extracting the row values and creating a 2d numpy array just like we have recently discussed we will be creating a 10 by 10 matrix we are just now defining a threshold of the metal like row value is 0.8 for the value greater than equal to 0.8 it would represent it there is a metal and below that it will be not be a metal now just converting to x and y coordinates and just like we end the end just need the x and y coordinates like exact location where in the matrix the metal is present now also we are defining a vb viewer like for our simplicity for the value greater than equal to 0.8 it would represent a dark red color which would be representing a metal for the values less than equal to 0.8 there are various things like if the row is 0 then it will be violet 0.1 for indigo 0.28 for blue like so and so and then plotting the values of row with the specified color map as this we will see in the output then it will be better be clarified and just labeling the x and y axis like x axis in meters and y also meter and the title is gpr simulation and thus optimally we are just in the end output we will be getting as we can see detected metal at coordinate x and y where these represents the locations where the metal is present and in the graph uh, of the gpr simulation that we have got these dark red color represents the metal and the rest is the other things in the present in the soil so this was the code part. Now we'll be proceeding to the hardware part. I'll start off with the microwave test pen setup. This is a Crestron power supply where we can see beam voltage and reflow voltage are set and the RF output is connected with the octal component with the Crestron mount which is cooled by a fan behind it and it's connected with a variable attenuator as you can see in a bit. Yeah, this has isolated this has three ports which one port is isolated and it only travels in one direction after that we can see a frequency meter as it's an x band it has a frequency between 8 to 12 gigahertz this is a slotted line which measures the frequency this is a variable attenuator which attenuates the rf power and provide isolation to the components this is a waveguide detector which detects the RF signal and after that it is connected to the TSO where we can see two graphs one the first one is connected with a slotted line and the second one is connected with the waveguide detector through the variable attenuator we can see a trim in a portion and a stable RF output in the second the purple one this is a four wheel drive buggy and we have four DC geared motors which is connected to an Arduino motor shield with the Arduino Uno and it's powered by a battery of 7.4 volt and it has a capacity of 2000 mAh 
as you can see there is a hole in the middle of the chassis there we will keep our horn antenna for the surveying now let's proceed to the horn antenna part this we are transmitting and receiving the RF signal to the ground and here we have a three port circulator where the port one is the input which is getting from the test bench after that it travels to P2 which is the horn antenna and it transmit after transmitting it ref it get reflect back and come back to the horn antenna again and it travels to P3 and P3 is connected with the BNC probe adapter further connected with the VSWR here we are collecting the data through uh, autonomy and we have already buried the object which will, which will be shown after in the later part of the video and through this we measure the VSWR reading and different metals and objects have different reflection coefficients that we will collect and save it in the CSV file which was shown in the coding part of the section and through this, we successfully implement the GPR technology with microwave.